What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lil Show. And this is Nusco. And, and we, we are the Chatter Boys. This is industrysession.com. Make sure y'all tune in. This right here exclusive. Keep watching. You a bad girl and your friends back too. She bad. Oh, you she a bad girl and your friends back too. Oh, you, God. You, you, you oh, a bad girl and your friends back too. She bad. Oh, you she a bad girl and your friends back too. She bad. She bad. You, you, you a bad girl and your friends back too. She bad. Oh, you she a bad girl and your friends back too. Oh, God. Y'all, this is your girl Kim Burley, and we're at Multi Entertainment Studios, and we're here with the Chatter Boys. So, how are you guys doing today? Doing good. Are y'all ready for the eclipse? It's coming in like an hour. Yeah, I'm ready for it, but I don't care about it. You know, okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so like, is the studio a place where you guys just do music, or is it like a place where y'all like chill, get into the vibe, like relax? Um, well, to make music, you gotta have a vibe. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we chill and make music here, but mainly we, we, we be working here. Mm -hmm. and we, yeah, but the vibe got to be there also, so like, right. it go both ways. So yeah, it's like a chill place and business, making music mm -hmm. all together. So tell me a little bit about the Chatter Boys. Like, how did y'all come up with the name and what does the name mean? Chatter Boys came up, it was like, probably like two years ago, mm -hmm. with my little brother. It was in the same studio, it don't look the same, but it was in the same studio. Yeah. And we had different producers and stuff like that. And first we wasn't, we rap, but we wasn't under the label. Mm -hmm. And one of the producers heard us and they thought, oh, you got talent. So my little brother got talent also. We was with our friends too. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the time we was on our phones, our phones kept ringing and different stuff like that. And the producer was like, how should we come a group? And it's called Y'all Saw the Chatter Boys because it seemed like a lot of people talk about y'all and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we just stuck with it. So does it mean anything or doesn't? It does. The chatter boys, uh, we have people talk about us all the time. Oh, so yeah. chatter, the chatter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so is it just both of you guys or was it more of you? Yeah. It or it's just y'all two? It was more of us, but like mainly us two. It okay. Was more of us, but mainly us two. So the other, it didn't really matter to people. Okay. So like your yeah, your music, like would y'all category, would y'all categorize it? with just under one genre or many genres? Cause I know y'all have a lot of music and it's like different, it's like different type of vibes. So how would you categorize like your, you guys music? Um, it is like, it's in different genres, but depending on like what type of shows or type of events that we had into, mm -hmm. that's why we got so much music. Mm -hmm. So we could like pinpoint the audience. Mm -hmm. So the audience is more, Little where um, with kids and stuff, we got a whole different song for them. But it's with our crowd, teenagers and stuff, we got a song for that. There's older people who got a song for that too. So, like, our music all over. Mm -hmm. So, it's like your music, like, is it therapeutic for you guys or is it just something that y'all do? Is it therapeutic to you? <laughs> therapeutic mean like relaxing, like, mm -hmm. like yeah. Oh yeah. So like when you write music, it make you feel good. Yeah, I, yeah, definitely do. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, it's like it's like me expressing myself basically when I write my yeah. music. I don't write anything just to write it. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I write what I feel about what we rapping about. Yeah. So if I am in that mood, I'm gonna listen to that song. Help me get through. Mm -hmm. So like, what does it mean to y'all mm -hmm. to be in the music culture? I mean a lot. Cause you see, you see different things. You experience a whole lot that mm -hmm. you didn't know. So, like, it's like it's an ongoing experience. Mm -hmm. so, so, to me, it's like it's just I learned things that I didn't know before. Mm -hmm. so, and you get better also when you study the music and write it down. You see yourself getting better. It's a progression. You oh. see what it means? Yeah. Like, what does it mean to you to be in like the music culture? Well. Like he said, I learned a lot, mm -hmm. and in you know, music, once you get to a point, like you get big, like people, you, you become like a messenger, basically. Mm -hmm. Like you got, you got a lot to say. So like when Tupac was rapping and stuff, he rapped about like the black culture, about what we was going through. So I mean, like it means that you become a leader mm -hmm. or somebody, like some something big in somebody's eye. So I got so I have a character to portray mm -hmm. with this music. So mm, that's all for 
Okay, so let's talk about your music. Like you say, like y'all are like leaders. So yeah, one of your songs is it called like "We Beat the Streets"? Yeah, we beat the streets. So talk about talk a little bit about that, like that song, because I feel like that song is like talking to like people like who who may be down or people who are like unmotivated. That's like a song where somebody can get like motivated. Yeah, honestly, that was before like. It was a Chad Boys mm -hmm. song. That was like my song. I was okay. the one on that song. Okay. So, but it was a book. You know how you got like the summer reading programs and stuff you gotta do for school. Mm -hmm. Like during the summer, I had to read a book, and it was called "We Beat the Streets." Mm -hmm. And when you get back, you had to write an essay or do something. But I told my teacher I ain't want to write no essay. Like mm -hmm. I don't really like writing essays or nothing. And she said I heard you make music, right? She's like make a song about it. Mm -hmm. So I made a song about it. But "We Beat the Streets" is basically about. How like don't let don't let the conspiracy and even though you come from a bad neighborhood like don't let mm -hmm. it beat you like right. you gotta beat the street and and at the end of it I was like surround yourself by like minded people so, mm -hmm. like if you want to do something <clears throat> try yourself around like minded people because if you want like if you want to be positive and want to do something you gotta hang with people just like that so right. and, well, and if you hang with what three broke people you might as well be you might be the fourth one mm -hmm. so it was just like. You can still like that. That that song gave hope to people that even though you come from a a, a city that was full of conspiracy, it's easy mm -hmm. not to make it out. You can still make it out. There's always, always a way. Okay, so let's talk about the song "Bad Girl." Bad so girl. did y'all like making the song better, or did y'all like making the video better? Cause the video, the video is kind of nice. The video, of <laughs> course. The video was fun making. Mm -hmm. It was definitely fun. Um, the song, when we first made a song, mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember. Uh, when we first made a song for Bad Girls, it was about probably last year. Mm -hmm. And the song Bad Girls, it was given from some type of what beat, where the beat came from. You remember? Alex made the beat, I think. I think Alex, all right, but, oh, no, 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 Jay Philly. All right, so it was given from um, Jay Philly, and we never knew it was going to be all big like mm -hmm. this. So people actually liked it. We were down ATL with it. Mm -hmm. Everybody down Atlanta liked it. So we made we made a video actually before going to Atlanta. That was okay. the plan. So they could see it and different stuff like that. And they, and they liked it. It went good. And we also still pushing it. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, it was fun. The, yeah. Um, Cause I do kind of, I'm like, okay, cause people can relate, like, especially girls, they can relate to it. Like what girl doesn't think she's a bad girl? Like mm -hmm. every girl would think that she's a bad girl. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about like your writing skills. Like how do you, how do you base your music on it? Like, is it inspiring or is it like an idea that comes to your mind and you just, and you just put it on paper? I, I try, when I write music, I try to feel the beat, um, mm -hmm. right? towards the hook, like what's the hook's about, and, and, just, and just, I focus and I write to my vibe, I just, I just write. Mm -hmm. um, you go, um, repeat it again, uh, repeat the question. Um, so I said, like, when you write, mm -hmm. is it like an idea that comes to your mind, or is it like inspiring, like what, how do you, how would you come to writing a song? A song, mm -hmm. sometimes my producer might give us an idea because he made the beat when he mm -hmm. felt about the beat. Sometimes you just give us a beat, let us know. We, like, like, we make our own song to it. Mm -hmm. But the way I write, I like seeing stuff that I don't really hear a lot or mm -hmm. that nobody else would say. Nobody else would say. But I just like being creative. Like, I won't be like, I try being different when I write. I try being different when I perform. Mm -hmm. So, so the more probably like an idea, I guess. Like, yeah. you just think of new ideas. Mm -hmm. so, so being as though that you guys are in a group, I know that like in order to make a song, I mean, it, you really have to fill up a song, but is there anybody like a local or famous you would like to work with in the future? Well, yeah, I don't want to work with everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't mind working with people. People, it, it's, um, like I said, it's a learning experience. It's yeah. different, like you never know, you might sound good with a certain person and it might blow up, you never know, so. I want to work with Cardi B. I take, okay. <laughs> like Cardi, yeah, she is popping right now. <laughs> I take, I take a lot of, I take any feature, mm -hmm. just to try it out. Okay. So let's talk about a little bit about your fan base. I know you guys do like giveaways and contests, and y'all do like fan in a month. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about like the giveaways, the contests, and like the fan in a month. Like, how did y'all come up with that? Really, um, 
our, our management came up with it, find new ideas to gain mm -hmm. fans and different stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, they every every place we go to like a um, show, we give out free T-shirts, mm -hmm. free CDs. Any interview we go to, we take give you free CDs, free T-shirts. We got um we got uh, merchandise mm -hmm. on chatterboys.com. Mm -hmm. We um we real heavy on the promotion, like we promote everywhere we go. Um, so on chatterboys.com, Instagram, Twitter. So yeah, um but with, with the charity and stuff, we, we really like our goal was for the kids though. Like, okay. I said, like that's all we making the we beat the street songs and we had a whole youth project and stuff. Okay. We just giving back to the kids because that, that's the next generation. I'll be the ones who gonna right. change the world next when we not here. So, so we for the women and for the children. Mm -hmm. So did you so did y'all receive like good feedback from doing this? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We we should make emails and doing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They want more more like merchandise mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause I would say like I personally think like y'all fan bases. You have like the Mel. The, is it Melo De Niro? Is that the Mal song? Malo Mal 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 De Niro fans. Mal Mal and then you have like the Bad Girls fans. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's like a different like a different fan base mm -hmm. that you guys like cross. Yeah. So yeah. So and um. So um. Oh, so let's talk about your merchandise. So what do you guys sell? Like the t-shirts and the hats. Like what more do you guys sell? Do you guys sell anything else? We got bandanas, t-shirts, mm -hmm. and look, we still doing a little constructive construction to our website. Okay. So we wanna have a lot more stuff. Also have sweaters of course for the winter time. Mm -hmm. We probably we soon will have sweatpants. Mm -hmm. and, um we just almost everything, anything we can get our hands on, we're gonna have on the website for merchandise like clothes mm -hmm. or headbands, anything yeah. that come new in style we're gonna try and get Chatter Boys Motai. Okay. So does it just say Chatter Boys? They got Mo they got Motai. Mm -hmm. Mainly, we yeah, got entertainment. Skyline, fully. Where we from? Okay. We got different designs. We yeah. also got Chatter Boy shirts too. Um, different like that. Okay. So, like, do y'all have anything coming up in the near future? Like, do y'all have performances coming up? Got, or like uh, music? Mm -hmm. We have a performance coming up on like, the TLA, on August twenty seventh. Okay. Um, after that, our um our video will drop the next day. Milo Donato. Mm -hmm. We got a video we record. We just, you know, you heard the song, but we didn't yeah. drop the video. Okay. That'll drop the next day afterwards. Um, I'm trying to think. We got we got lined, we lined up though. We got a lot of mm -hmm. stuff lined up. That's how we remember so far. Okay, so how can your fans reach you, and also how can they like listen to your, be able to like listen to your music? Everything Chatterboys dot com. I said dot com, but everything is Chatterboys. What is it? What is it? Okay. Everything Chatterboys. That's how they can reach us. Chatterboys. Snapchat coming soon. Okay, so y'all don't have no Snapchat, no, no Snapchat right now. It's only okay. Thing. So what about the music? How can they listen um, to your music? Go on SoundCloud, Chatterboys, Spotify, Chatterboys. Reverb Nation, Chatter Boys, everywhere. And YouTube. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, don't, we don't just got music views on YouTube either. We got us just blog. A lot of our performances okay. and stuff. Blog. Mm -hmm. yes. We got blog. So you want to so. stay tuned with the Chatter Boys mm -hmm. with then? Mm -hmm. Where we going? Chatter Boys. <laughs> so is there anything else you guys would like to say or like to inform your audience about? No, uh, just shout out to y'all. Thank you. Got a oh, block party yeah. Saturday. Okay. Right, Got to come through. Y'all want to come through? Perf we'll do a, a natural performance right there for y'all. Uh, giving out T-shirts, CDs, headbands, probably lots of stuff. All right. So this has been IndustrySessions.com, and this is the Chatter Boys. Thank you for tuning in. Shawty so bad, she gon' make me beg for it I love the way she walk, she be sauce and hover boy And if she hit my line, help me lord, I can't ignore her And she be on my mind, she not a dime, she like a quarter Shawty, she movin' I'm loving the booty, I'm loving the booty, baby, let's do it You got me so stupid, you making me ruthless, I'm tired of watching This not a movie, now this not a movie, you said that you bad, like, what's up? I'm up for the challenge, what's up? Bad girl with an attitude, a big booty, that trick too, just one time and one night, I ain't looking for love, I'm looking for life. I step in the club and I see what I like. She twerking, she twerking, she twerking and nice. I love me some cake, but surely be cake and she dropping it low, so low to the basement. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. She bad. You a bad girl and your friends.
friends back too. She you, bad, you, you, you she a bad, bad girl and your friends let back too. Shit, you a bad girl and your friends back too. Let me see shit. You, 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 you a bad girl and your friends back too. You a bad girl and your friends back too. You, 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 you